Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you and your family are having a beautiful day. Speaking of beautiful days, it is amazing outside. It's warmer and the sun is there. But it's very windy, so I couldn't do a little intro for you all outside. But today, guys, I'm going to plant a tree today. Yes, and I'm also going to share with you all my lunch. Mm -hmm. So stick around for that. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, y'all know, y'all know, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 Garden. are really really beautifully they healthy very healthy they look, they're doing good this I wanted to share this one with you all this look at that so I think I planted three seeds maybe three yeah and that's rhubarb I planted it on 12 27 but they look in kind of Hmm. Lady, but that's rhubarb. Now, <clears throat> I know that uh, they say you should soak these seeds. Well, if you all seen me drop these seeds, I did not soak them, but here they are. I'm going to put them in a bigger pot. Not today, but maybe next week. But they are growing nicely. Nicely. Go rhubarb. Go rhubarb. <laughs> So I dropped three seeds here, and this is artichokes. This is the artichokes. So I have another couple artichokes, so I was planting some for my neighbor. So, yep, it's artichoke. They're doing good. This is, we just break in the surface, and that is the yellow monster pepper. Yep. Yellow monster pepper. They busting through there, y'all. They coming on through. So that's pretty cool. Yep, that's the update on my little greenhouse. Where everyone is looking real cool. They doing good. Now some of these cups here, um, I didn't place anything in like in those two back there. I didn't put any seeds in it. I should just move them out the way, you know, but <laughs> anyway. That's what's going on in my little greenhouse today. Everybody's looking really cool. They doing good. All right, guys. So this is how I started my morning. So if you have been here a while, uh, maybe one or two videos, then you've seen this bok choy growing in this container with my air laid big tree yeah so I just let her grow I just let her grow and now she's really getting big so the plans was for me to uh, harvest um, uh, this bok choy and cook it for lunch today but I changed my mind I changed my mind but I, I still harvest uh, the greens but I will have them for dinner tonight uh, as a side dish. It will be my vegetables on my plate. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but this bok choy looks so beautiful. Uh, I didn't pull her all the way up. Uh, I'll see, can I get just one more harvest of leaves? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'll take her down. But. Yeah, she's she's doing, and I'm I may just put her in another pot since she really want to grow. Yeah, but let's go and plant a tree. So, guys, as I said earlier uh, in this video, I um I wanted to you know talk to you all while I was doing this, but uh, it was just so windy out there, and I wasn't complaining. 
at all. Uh, just enough for me to the wind to uh, get into the mic and make it for a bad sound. So I decided to just do this voiceover. So what I'm doing now is um, there were some pieces of the uh, plantain tree still there. I wanted to make sure, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I got all the pieces as possible. Now, do I think, you know, is there any left in there? Yeah, there's probably some still left in there, but I took out everything I saw. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to make sure that nothing else was there because, yeah, she will go back. But if she do go back, then, you know, I will take her up again. That's all that is. So now this is just some of the um, the pieces that I did uh, take out of uh, that hole that the tree was in. So I wanted to make sure that um, I get it all out of the way and I don't make a mistake and put it back in the hole when I'm uh, putting in more soil. Now, if you can see on the far side of the picture, that is where uh, those two big, well, it's three of them, big stumps uh, from this plantain plant that came out. And um, I'm going to put those away also. Yeah. But what I did was here, I put uh, a half a bag of Kellogg's in the hole. Yeah, that's just, I just used half of that bag. Now, I didn't put any granulated fertilizers, nothing like that. I didn't do any of that. So, if you look at the top of your trees, they have fertilizers in there. So, I didn't want to put any um, granulated uh, because I am going to hit up good before I, I'm done. But anyway, my neighbor came over and made sure I didn't need any help. So... That was really cool of him, so. But no, I got this part. Yeah, I got this part. Yeah, so we're gonna speed this thing up a little bit. And now I have my tree. And of course, it is the pineapple pear tree. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't see the video, um, uh, <laughs> the day before my birthday, my daughter surprised me with this little tree. Yeah, I was so surprised when she she found it uh, and she purchased it for me and brought it home and had me walk outside with my eyes closed. <laughs> and uh, then she revealed that it was the pineapple pear tree that I had been looking for. So I was so excited. And so now I get the opportunity to plant her in the ground. And this is a beautiful thing, yeah. So now I took the other half of the Kellogg's in that bag and I put it on top. Well, I put the native soil all around uh, the tree on the sides. All that is just native soil. And on top is um, the Kellogg's. Yeah. And of course, y'all know, I hit her up good. I hit her up good with 511 and Super Juice. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, guys, here she is. She's all planted, and I'm so excited, and uh, I really want to thank my daughter uh, for being so sweet, so kind. I love it, and um, this is something we will have for years to come, yeah, and of course, I have been educating myself on how to care for this little tree. I've learned so much about how to prune her and so on and so on and so on. But yeah, I'm learning and um, I will care for her. Yeah, she will be good. But we will see how good she loved this spot over here, right? <laughs> yeah, let's see how she does when... Um, it's time to bear those fruits, right? <laughs> I just wanted to stop in and say, I'm going to 
drop some seeds tomorrow and I'm going to share with you all which seeds I'm going to drop. So I'm going to drop uh, these radish. I do have some watermelon radish and I'm going to drop that too. I just haven't, I don't have it here with me, but I will. I'm going to drop some Russian uh, red or ragged <laughs> jack kale. It's real pretty. We're going to drop some of that. And I'm going to drop this gum, a lemon scent. I got I to gotta know something about that one. I'm going to put some peppermint in a pot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put that in a special container. And some more radish. Yeah. And more. Yeah. Plant some more of these. I didn't get a chance to taste these because the tree kind of, mm -hmm, the tree got it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to plant some lemon balm in containers. Now, I'm going to drop all of these seeds outside. Yeah, I'm going to drop them outside. So, uh, it will be in tomorrow's video. All right, guys. All right guys so here is my lunch this is my lunch so this is some lettuce that I got from my garden there is some tomatoes in there and apples yeah this is some homemade fries homemade french fries mm -hmm. this is a shrimp po boy french bread And shrimps from the garden. Mm -hmm. I gotta get that lemon. I have some old fashioned root beer right there. Mm -hmm. And mm. I'm gonna put some ketchup. I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put it on now. Wait a minute. <laughs> so I got me a kosher pickle um, spear. Mm-hmm. Let's do another one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There we go, babe. This is one of those days. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful evening. I hope all is well with you and your families. New Orleans style, French po' boy. Mm-hmm. It is spelled P O. B-O-Y. <laughs> there y'all. <laughs>